Hi everybody and welcome back to my shop. I put this license plate on our van back in 2001 after 9-11. So it's been on here about 12 years and the colors are all faded so I think it's time to retire this license plate. So I'm going to take it off and I'm going to make a license plate out of wood. Here in Georgia, we can put just about any kind of license plate we want on the front of our car. I know in some states like California, you have to have a real license plate on the front and the rear of your vehicle. Uh, I guess they think you're going to drive away from the crime scene backwards or something. <laughs> but uh, if you live in a state or a country where you have to have a real license plate on the front of your vehicle, please leave a comment. I'd like to know. I've got this quarter inch thick board that's just wide enough for this license plate. So I'm going to trace around it, cut it out, and I'm going to drill the holes. I'd like to find out if anybody knows what kind of wood this is. Uh, if you could just please leave me a comment. When you do your own license plate, you can do contrasting colors with different woods. But I'm just going to use pieces from the same board. logo to use as a template. So I'm just going to trim out these letters and stick them onto a piece of wood. Whenever I'm spraying adhesive onto my template, I like to use a cardboard box as a spray booth just to cut down on the overspray. Alright, that's a pretty good fit. I'm going to remove the template and do a little sanding. I'm using Type Bond 2 since this is an outdoor application. I put some small marks where the letter goes, so I'm just going to stick it on and line it up with the marks. I'm going to use a scrap piece and a full gallon of paint to apply some clamping pressure. Alright, let's take a look at the license plate. The glue should be dry now. And I think I have created just a real simple piece of intarsia with just two letters. <laughs> I guess that qualifies as intarsia. I don't know. Uh, it's only got two pieces. For a finish, I'm just going to spray it with some clear gloss lacquer. And I'm going to use this as an experiment to see how lacquer holds up to the weather. I made these screw holes so they're a little bit big to allow for some expansion and contraction. Also, this is a real simple project. I got home at about 5.30 after work today, and it's now almost 8.30. So it's only taken me three hours, and that includes glue drying time and lacquer drying time. All right, I'm done with the license plate. It looks good. I'm real happy with it. And I can't wait for my wife to come out to her van tomorrow and see it. Um, it was a real simple project and you can make one with limited tools and just pick out a different logo. Uh, it'd be great for a gift for someone who has an antique car or who's a college fan. You could put uh, like the college initials on there, uh, anything like that. So go and make one yourself and I'll see you next time. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, go back and watch all my previous videos. You can find me at my website at thecarmichaelworkshop.com, and there you'll see links to my Facebook, Twitter, Keek, and also my Lumberjocks page.